Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. Your sports fan news. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on the Atlanta Brave being a playoff bound team. Check out the MLB playoff bound playlist to check out the rest of those videos on the playoff bound team. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the widget up above at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. The Atlanta Braves this year were able to win the NL least. Um, that's because they actually had a solid bullpen. No, they did not always perform at the solid level that Braves fans would want it, but they actually have a solid bullpen, a more put-together rotation, and they made the moves that their ownership allowed them to make and were not on constraints, unlike the other division team, the Phillies. So that's why they were able to get to the playoffs, because they were able to get the Rosarios of the world. They were able to get the Jorge Solares of the world, get the Duvals of the world that are all really helpful players. Plus, obviously... They were also able to get the Rodriguez's of the world from um, the Pirates that really helped your bullpen as well. Plus, they got Luke Jackson in that bullpen, who's a, a very successful player as well. So, they got a good bullpen, a great rotation with Charlie Morton, the dog that's been great in the playoffs. He's going to get the ball to start the series tonight. I'll be doing a series preview on that right after this. But... Um, he's a great one to have it. Then you got Max Fried or Ian Anderson, depending which one they decide to go with first. And those are two great pitchers as well. And then it, for this series, you're not going to need usually a four starter because you just go back to somebody. But when it comes to other guys, they got Newcomb, who's a good now bullpen guy. Like I said, they already got Rich Rod. You got Will Smith. You do got Drew Smiley, who has experience which is a nice added depth thing for when you do go into a deeper series that the Braves are actually able to win the first series of the postseason. So that's a nice added bonus for them to have. Plus, you got Hoskar Yanoa, who's just nasty as a youngster. We've seen youngsters in the past playoffs for other teams become wild cards and just do really good. Um, For example, the kid that pitched for the uh, Rays yesterday, he actually pitched in the postseason last year. It was the first thing he really ever did. And then he was really able to get going this year and then be able to pitch a very good first game of a series. So you never know what's going to happen. So you got the good starting rotation. To, you got the good bullpen there in Atlanta. You got the great catcher to catch them and Travis Day or no, he really knows what he's doing. You got the very good infield of Albies, Freeman, and Riley, who honestly should get MVP, some MVP considerations as well. And then you also got Dansby Swanson in that infield. Plus, even though you have Acuna out and you have... Um, obviously Ozuna out for other reasons, you were able to go get those guys I mentioned in the outfield, so they still got a deep outfield with Duvall, they still have <coughs> Jock Peterson out there, you got Eddie Rosario, you got Jorge Soler, so you got all the guys, whether it's facing lefties or righties, you should be able to match up pretty well. The only difference between, obviously when I do it in the series preview, the two teams is the deepness through and through, you might give that when it comes to f overall pitching as a 40 to 40 that's not really a word but we'll make it one um to the brewers there but then the lineups they're really even they're really the exact thing especially if yelich uh picks it up then they're really even you could even give a slight lean to the brave without yelich actually being the yelich of all in the playoffs because we already seen guys throw their crappy seasons away and then get going but that's a story for that other video and this one though the Braves hats off to their great season that they were able to have to win this NL East division. It's because they were able to make the best moves at the deadline. That's what really led to them winning this division, in my opinion. They got a bullpen piece, one of the best ones at the deadline in Rich Rod. You also were able to just continue to let the young guys just nurture themselves in and get better. Plus, you made the great outfield additions of the Rosarios, the Solaires, the Petersons, and the Duval. So they checked every box they had to do to continue to try to be successful through all the injuries, where that's why usually as fans, you don't give teams breaks be when it comes to just having injuries for not making the postseason, because look what the Braves did. They made up for it. They made all the right moves. They pushed all the right buttons, checked all the boxes, and were still able to find a way into that postseason. So I hope you all enjoyed this MLB Playoff Bound video on the Atlanta Braves. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below or on the widget up above if you enjoy the content. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. The playoffs have been great this far. Enjoy the rest of them. Peace out.